Locker is a watch company from New York that presented their first model in 2023. Back then, one main feature were visible, a unique design language that was distinctable from others, although the watch was heavily inspired by existing 50s vintage watches. Now Locker is introducing number two, a chronograph with a big amount of upgrades. So as always, let's start with the basic specifications. We have a hand-wound watch with a case diameter of 37 mm, a bezel diameter of 38 and a lug to lug length of 46. The watch is 14.1 mm high, including the domed sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on the inside. Lug width is 20. The watch has a bi-directional 120 click bezel and is powered by the cylinder SW510M Elaboré with a power reserve of 63 hours. It is waterproof up to 100 meters, comes on a beads of rice bracelet and the price is indicated with 2650 US dollars or 2461 euros. Available will be three dial colors. So let's jump right into the first question. Why is the thing so expensive? Their Model 1 went for around 1600. Answer, we have a Swiss made watch now assembled in La Chaux de Fonds, which guarantees a certain level of component quality and finishing. So the price might sound unusual for such a young brand, but it's rather normal for the watch itself. The layout here follows the typical tri-compact chronographs of the 50s and 60s. That means three subdials here with a 30-minute counter on the right, a 12-hour counter on position 6 and the seconds in the left subdial. Nothing special so far. Even the font of the numbers look authentic, like a vintage watch. But what's with the hands? Dolphin hands, also very traditional, but here with a bold shape. The base is very thick, it forms a large triangular plate, which is one of the dominant parts of the watch and it has a nice correspondence with the shape of the 12th numeral. I personally don't like the font for the model number 2 wording there, it looks somewhat dry to me, but I will not mark that as a minus because it could be a matter of taste. The next important part is the bezel, covered with a guilloche pattern. Without insert, just metal. You have 12 hours there in a bit of a collision between numerals and the pattern. The numbers look somewhat blurry, not a perfect solution in my humble opinion. But despite that, the bezel is a strength because of its dominance. Together with a bold set of hands and the shiny subdials, the entire watch looks very metallic. The design is really a visible dedication to the world of mechanics. And I see this, together with the component quality, as the big strength of the watch. Despite its modest size, the watch looks incredibly robust and shiny at the same time, and that's rare. By the way, modest size, question mark, they advertise it as slender, but 14 millimeters in height is in fact not slender. The case itself measures 11.6, but it wouldn't be the best idea to wear it without the crystal, correct? So the watch is definitely a bit chubby, but there are, on the other hand, numerals models out there that have gotten away with that, keyword zin. The watch comes now on that beads of rice bracelet, which is a clever choice because it gives the piece elegance and a strong vintage vibe. Do you see the size of the end links? That's because of the height and the massive lux of the case. It stretches the end link. Also a very dominant part and certainly a matter of taste. So overall I see some open questions here and some questionable decisions, but also the unique look of the watch and that's hard to pull off in a convincing form and so I'm personally very curious about the future of Lorca and their Model 3. Last point, availability. The watch is ready for pre-order and delivery will take place in May 2025. By the way, am I the only person who loves to see that watch in a Jubilee bracelet? And with that question, allow me to close this episode. Thank you very much and see you next Monday to Watch of the Week. <laughs>